dissolving a solute into a solution, it is important to identify whether it is an electrolyte or not. You may have heard the term electrolyte and things like Gatorade. Well, essentially an electrolyte is anything that uh, carries a voltage while it's in water. And there are actually three types of solutes that we can identify. We can identify a non-electrolyte. This is an electrolyte that when you put it into water, it does not break up into charged particles and it does not dissolve and it does not carry any electric charge. We have a weak electrolyte, which only part of the solute dissolves into charged ions, and you can have a weak current pass through the solution. And finally, we have a strong electrolyte. This is a solute that completely dissolves into uh, charged ions, and a strong current can pass through it. So here I have three different solutions with a different solute listed in the middle. And we're going to identify whether it is a non-electrolyte, a weak electrolyte, or a strong electrolyte. Well, first we have NaCl, sodium chloride. Well, we know that it is an ionic compound, and we know that ions have a positive cation and a negative anion. So when you dissolve it in water, the ion dipole forces pull the molecule apart, creating two charged particles. As a result, you have a positive sodium and a negative chlorine. This actually allows a current to pass through, and this can be identified as a strong electrolyte. Uh, in other words, all uh, strongly ionic compounds are usually strong electrolytes. Next, we have CH3COOH, or acetic acid. Well, we know that acetic acid is a weak acid. This means that it does not part; it only partially dissolves into hydrogen atoms and a uh, negative ion. So we know that it partially dissolves. This means that it is a weak electrolyte. This means that if you put a current through the solution, um, a small charge would be able to pass through. Finally, we have C6H12O6, or glucose. What we know is that glucose is not an ionic compound, and when you put it in water, it does not dissolve at all. The glucose molecules stick together. Uh, this means that it does not dissolve at all, and it is a non-electrolyte solution, or non-electrolyte solute. This means that if you put a charge through this solution, it would not be able to pass through.